What really matters for today, Rodney here with you again, I'm in Ephesians 6, and there we are reminded that our ultimate conflict on earth is not between flesh and blood. We engage in a spiritual warfare. As we remember this world's conflict, the bravery of those who have defended our freedom, let us also remember the spiritual battles that every believer must fight. As we engage in spiritual warfare, we have our commander-in-chief with us. The armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth came a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with the rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God, the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has the name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Revelation 19, verses 14 through 18. Jesus gave his life to gain spiritual victory over sin, death, and hell. And that's what really matters for today in a minute from the Church of Christ that meets in Leoma, Tennessee. <laughs> 